Hey guys, welcome back to Get a Garage. Today we're working on a 05 Mercury Grand Marquis with a 4.6 liter V8 and it has a bad master cylinder. Now, I didn't know until I started working on it this master cylinder was stuck in here real good. A tip that I got was to cut the ears off so we can rotate this a little bit. You don't want to really pry on the brake booster because it's made out of sheet metal, so uh, I'm just trying to cut these off and I put the blade on my saw here at an angle so I could get it in here. I'm trying to slowly cut this a little bit at a time to not damage the brake booster. As you can see, we got this side off and we only got minor scratches on it, so it's not damaged at all. But once we get the other side off, we should be able to rotate this and uh, hopefully that'll help us to get it off. So. All right, well, we got this loose. Got this piece off. Now we should be able to rotate it, at least a little bit. We couldn't get our lines off here. Um, they're a little loose, but they're not rotating in here, and I don't want to ruin the lines if I can help it. So um, for this process, you probably want to remove your lines. Uh, we had ours disconnected up front, so it shouldn't be too bad, but let's see if we can rotate this puppy at all. She's stuck in there good. All right, so since we couldn't turn it with the channel locks, I'm gonna try an 18 inch pipe wrench here. See if we can get anything to move. Wow, she's on there good. I'm moving the whole car. We're literally trying everything and it doesn't wanna budge. All right, so we figure maybe mess around with a little bit more. Got the pipe wrench back on there with a little bit of extra leverage. Let's see if they pull it off. Oh, we broke it. Nice. Oh, look at that. She's off now. Oh man, we've been fighting with this for hours. So if you're having any trouble, definitely cut the ears off and then use whatever leverage you can to spin it. Whew. We already have our reservoir removed and we have our line still connected right now. Um, this line is actually, we're trying to salvage it. It's disconnected at the other end. And this line right here is loose. Um, we just didn't want to leak fluid everywhere. All right, time to try and get it the rest of the way off. Look at all the fluid. The corrosion and rust and nasty. Ew. Look at that. That's nasty. Yikes. Yeah, that's definitely no good. I bet you that's what's causing the, what's causing the whole problem. All right, so I can see what happened here. It's pretty corroded and there's like all kinds of stuff built up in here. So what was happening with this car is the brakes were actually locking up. We replaced both of the calipers, not even looking at the master cylinder, but you can actually see what happened here is, so the master cylinder was leaking and it was leaking into the brake booster here. And you can tell that because of all of the missing paint around here and the rust and corrosion from the missing paint. Um, the brake fluid will actually eat the paint right off. And then you have aluminum and steel touching each other, the similar metals causing oxidization. That's why it didn't come off. Look at all the gunk down in here. It's just disgusting. So it was clearly what's causing the problem on this car. Your wheels seem like they're locking up. You're not sure which one it is. I want to check this first just to be safe. It's easy inspection. You'll be able to tell pretty easily if it's if it's leaking. It'll have bubbling paint and a little bit of rust and stuff and more so on the bottom. We got it off now. Hopefully you guys, if you're watching this video, you don't have a hard time. But you really have to man that thing off of there. So just don't be afraid of it. In the worst case scenario, you may have to also replace the brake booster. We were able to save it in this case. We're going to just go ahead and clean this up a little bit and uh, remove the old one completely and put the new one in. See how she does. We did get the uh, hard line off that was frozen on the master cylinder. So basically what happened here is the line was not moving from the nut on here. And this is a long one. I'm not sure what the point of that is, but either way, we couldn't get this to spin. So we disconnected it at the ABS unit and all the clips in between and we just spun it off of the master cylinder once we pulled it out. So now what we're gonna do is we're putting the new one in. We're just gonna take the, the line and screw it into the master cylinder. 
without even like having to spin this. We got lucky, we were able to disconnect this side without any problems, so we didn't actually have to make a new line for this. We were able to salvage it by doing it this way. So um, just a little tip in case you want to run into a similar problem while you're doing this. A lot of times it's rusty up in there on old cars and you need every little bit of help you can get. In the process of trying to remove this master cylinder, this is a selection of tools that we brought out here in order to try and break this loose. So you can see that some of it's a little bit smaller and like the hammers and things like that that we really didn't use. But part of winning when you're working on cars is just to keep trying different things and don't ever give up because once you give up, that's when the car wins. So you just gotta keep trying and trying until you figure it out. So we uh, cleaned this up as best as we could. Um, there's a little tiny damage right here from when we were trying to get it out, but I think this is gonna be just fine. Um, although the fact that it's got bare metal showing probably isn't gonna last too long. We'll have to replace it down the road, but it's much cleaner than it was and the new one should fit in there just fine. So I'm excited to get it back together. This is what happens when you get a little bit of brake fluid on painted surfaces. You can see a little bit right here and right here, but even though that little bit's come off, a little tiny wire brush or a little abrasive and it comes right off. So you don't want to get this on the paint of your car or on any painted surfaces because that'll happen. And bare metal is going to rust. So. All right, so we got the new master cylinder sitting in place now. Um, basically all we have to do is tighten it down, put the brake lines, hook the brake lines back up here. As you can see, it actually, it goes in quite smoothly and easily. You don't even have to force it in there, which is kind of nice. So I'm just going to bolt it down, put the reservoir back on and bleed the brakes and uh, hopefully she'll be good to go. Got the lines all in, reservoirs back on, everything's tightened back up again. And we got the brake booster vacuum line hooked back up, low fluid level indicator for the brake fluids all hooked back up. It is time to fill it up and start bleeding the brakes. Rear passenger side, it's the furthest away from here. So we're going to start with that one. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the sound of the engine. We uh, turned it on during the bleeding process so we could use the brake booster. Anyway, so we got uh, the line going into a little cup here. And I'm just gonna show you the first bleeding of this, what it looks like. You can see how green that fluid really is. It's nasty and uh, no good anymore. So. And you can see all the contamination in it. That's what came out. That is horrible. Horrible brake fluid. So that master cylinder contaminated all the brake fluid. And we're just flushing it all out right now. So we're just going to keep bleeding the brakes until it comes out clear. Alright guys, so we got the car all back together again. Everything is working great. The easy way to really remove a master cylinder would be to loosen the master cylinder bolts and then press the brake pedal. But you have to have brake pressure uh, in order to do that, and in this case we didn't, so we really needed to remove this the hard way. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and please like, comment, and subscribe.